What's up my Lost Ark money making moguls, Defender here and welcome to another video. So today I want to cover something that I think is going to be a huge, huge, huge potential to make some gold in Lost Ark, especially knowing now that we have the, the roadmap confirmed. Um, and what that is, I want to talk about is the tripod system, okay? So we now know in November that we're getting the tripod system change and I'll put some screenshots up of what it is in Korea. Um, Sorry, I don't have any translations, but effectively what it means is um, it's going to be higher odds of you successfully transferring tripod skills from um, the new system that they're adding in. You have an amulet um, and tripod skills that you learn are learned permanently on your class that you're playing. Okay, so if I was just quickly go over my abilities. If I was to, to learn level 5 on my Agile movement, that would be learned forever, okay? No longer on your gear on the side, like these, they're going to be gone. It's going to be in your amulet, and you just choose between the ones you want to you wanna use. So if I was to level up uh, Reckless Attack and Agile movement to 5, they're both permanently level 5 in my combat skills, and I can just freely swap between them whenever I want. You don't have to just stick with 18 uh, and then have no flexibility. So that is essentially the TLDR the that update is going to be. Uh, what we know is that we can take advantage of that update coming, and that is by storing tripods in the tripod inventory at level 4, and then they will be maxed upon release. I've talked about this in depth on another video. If you haven't seen that already, or you haven't seen someone else discuss it, you need to check that out immediately before the update so that you can make sure that your character has maxed out tripods because it has huge potential of up to doubling your damage, um, completely changing your rotations, uh, your potential, your skill ceiling can go all the way up, and it can change your build as well, right? So you could go from like a two spender build on a striker to a three spender build um, just because you, you get those higher... Um, gauge generation abilities and then you know you can afford to run a third finishing group move instead so it's some of these classes it makes a huge huge difference having your tripods maxed and it couldn't hurt for any class really ultimately at the end of the day it's only going to make you stronger so if i just quickly go through um what i think the money making technique is going to be so that you guys can just go away and start working on this immediately because we don't know when the november update is going to hit so we need to start preparing as soon as possible okay and if you haven't seen the video for the tripod changes that are coming you can check out the link in the description below and also i'll put it on the screen now that so you can click through to see it it's a very very quick and thorough guide on how you can take advantage of that and then you can come back to this and know how to make money from it as a result so disclaimer before anything else is that this is um, my thoughts on what will make you gold. Um, it's obviously not guaranteed. Nothing is a sure thing in, in any economy of making gold. Um, similar to playing stocks, you know, there is always an element of risk. But in my opinion, the risks are extremely, extremely low in doing this. And ultimately, I would argue that there is no real downside to, to trying this and trying to make money because we're going to be looking at tripods okay so what i mean is as you play in chaos dungeons you're going to be getting broken gear to drop right okay and you need to be 14 15 on a character to make this work but we're going to be holding on to as you can see these are the ones i've tracked um for my character and the build but i've just kind of kept tripods as i've been going uh from broken gear and i'll explain how you do it so i want you to look at your characters that you play that are say 14 15 plus maybe you have a main that's all the way up at 1500 or 14 75 whatever the case is maybe you have a, a spread of characters that can take advantage of this okay and this gives you potential for even more money okay so we'll just multiply it by how many characters you have and essentially we're just going to be going through our builds even the one that you don't play it might be terrible at the moment most people might not spend any money on it but with everything we know about class balance changes you know any engraving has the potential to become highly desirable, meta, um, you know, uh, better quality of life. Um, yeah, so you should never ever ignore the alternate build that you could be running because they both have the potential for you to make money or maybe you might even swap down the line. So think about it like that. Mark all the tripods that you know are beneficial to both builds because you have the ability to mark all of the tripods if you want to, okay? The ones that, that you need technically speaking you would normally have 18 in a build but some builds you know are flexible in the abilities they can run so mark all the ones that you think are desirable in the build both builds maybe do a bit of research on the one you don't know come back mark them and then as they drop in dun in the chaos dungeons anything that's level three or 
definitely at level four, you want to hold on to them, okay? And this is because level four maxes the tripod's ability. And this gives huge, huge value because people can take those tripods from you, from the auction house, store them in the tripod inventory, and then sell them on or break them down or whatever they want to do with them afterwards. But because we know this update is coming where people can max their tripods before the update and then it transfer over, it's going to mean that the, the desirable abilities or the ones that are going to get a change with the class balance, they're going to be worth a lot of money, okay? And I'm talking about things like um, your finishers on your, your DPS, you know, the ones that do big damage or the ones that you need to, to build up your gauge as fast as possible, you know, or the common ability in the rotation or maybe the cooldown that, you know, gives you uh, super armor or lets you pop off, um, you know, an inst a, full, a full finisher. Um, those kind of things are worth a lot of money. And if you play your class anything over 14, 15, you probably know which ones are worth a lot of money. Okay, so I play Destroyer. It's the least favorite class, least favored class, least played class in the game. Um, so that necessarily doesn't work in my benefit uh, for resellability. But if we just talk about something like Perfect Swing, okay? So these three engravings for Perfect Swing are the the must for big damage. You know, this ability is the highest damaging ability in the Destroyer's arsenal. And so these tripods, if I had them on broken gear, are gonna sell for an absolute fortune to anybody that plays the class and needs to max this out. Okay, so I've marked these down as we go and I've marked the PVP alternatives as well. Um, talking about PVP, there is a Rowan update coming down the line and tripods will be desirable for people that want to make a build for that. So there is value in PVP skills as well. So bear that in mind when you're tracking tripods and you know maybe take a look for level four of those PVP ones as well. Um, there's no risk to, there's no harm, there's no, no downside to just looking for these drops as you play and holding on to them, which is exactly what I've done as I've been playing over the last month. Okay, so all of these ones here are level threes and level fours for the tracked tripods that I want uh, to either use myself or sell on. And the closer we get to the November update, the more it's discussed, the more the information about how you can abuse, if you will, the tripod system to guarantee your tripod updates to be maximum when the update hits. The more that's passed around, the more people will start to invest in their characters and maxing out the tripods. And it's going to get later and later and later until the minute till midnight, so to speak, where people will be frantically trying to purchase tripods and putting them into their tripod inventory. Okay, because people won't be prepared. This information hasn't been disseminated that widely in the community yet. And a lot of people just don't use social media for information. Okay, if, it's, if they're playing the video game, they might just stick to, to playing and talking with their friends. So as we get closer and closer to that release, the prices are going to improve. And as a result, you have the potential to make a lot and lot of gold. Okay, so if I just talk about, for example, a scenario that I had myself, I had... Uh, this ability, the Seismic Hammer, Tough and Body, level 4, I had a version of this drop, okay, and I sold it uh, two weeks ago uh, for approximately 6,000 gold, um, I think it was, and this is becoming the best in slot uh, tripod for this ability for the Destroyer with the balance patch that we're getting in November, and what that means is that everyone uh, that's running this ability right now is using one of the two other options on the tripod skill tree. I'll just quickly show you. Everyone else is using one of these two abilities, okay? And it's going to become this one. This one is getting changed from 40% damage reduction to you to 40% damage improved on the ability, which is huge. It's an absolute must, and people are going to be running that for every single uh, destroyer that runs Rage Hammer, okay? And so it's going to be frantically. Uh, scrambling to get that tripod a level four uh, on a piece of broken gear and I sold it for 6,000 and I'm very very confident that if I'd have held that for another month uh, or however long the update will take maybe three weeks four weeks I could have sold that for well over five digits um, maybe to the right person even the high end of the five digits and so I'm kicking myself a little bit because I didn't necessarily think about that um, I didn't realize in my head that that was the one that was getting changed and I just sold it for uh, the market value at the time um, and I'll show you what I mean about how you can make money from this and it all really comes down to looking at the auction house and I'll show you how you track I'm just go into gear you type in an ability you want so say this one I'm talking about here so seismic I don't know what the price is at the moment looking at the toughened body which is getting changed and then we search okay and right now you 
can see this one is cheap because once you buy it there is no opportunity to resell it but this one here four and a half thousand um you can sell it once after you buy it and these kind of things are something to bear in mind because the resellability is where the value also comes from okay so if i was to buy this i could store it in my inventory like i mentioned in my previous video i'll, I'll link it it's in the in the description or up in the top corner you can click through to watch it it's a must to know how to do this okay um or if i was to buy this one for for either of these prices i can store it and then i can resell it once but knowing that the resale value is something like this it's you know i'm looking at a one and a half thousand gold minimum loss on on trying to resell that so that isn't the way you would make gold i'm talking about taking something that's had necessarily uh from a drop Okay, so if we look at, say, for example, something like, uh, let's find a level four here that would be worth something. Um, <laughs> so level four here for Endure Pain. This is Healthy Mentality. This is one of the, uh, the best you can use for this cooldown. It's one of the strongest cooldowns in the Destroyer's Arsenal. Okay, and this can be traded three times because I had it drop myself in a Chaos Dungeon. So that means the value of it is as high as it can possibly be because it's uh, an untouched, an untraded, it hasn't been dirtied by, you know, swapping through the economy. This is worth the highest it can be worth. Okay, and then if you were to add in another variable, say it had another plus four on there as well for another ability that's desirable, then it's valued more than double because the odds of having them both on one piece is more than just doubling the odds okay so i'll show you a quick example of the kind of value that you might see at the moment and how you can see it's going to be worth a lot lot more uh so i think something like perfect swing which i talked about being the strongest is the potential for real money and this is the same for any class that uses uh, big damaging abilities or big cooldowns that are you know really really important um, in your rotation and every class has it um but of course the more played class uh, we'll have a higher demand for those things. So if we just search for this ability and we'll see the prices, okay. And here we have one that's 20,000 gold. And let's look at why that's 20,000. And it's 20,000 because it's all level three abilities, okay. And two of them I've marked uh, are the best in slot abilities for two of your damage dealing strongest abilities in the game they're both the big two damage bumpers for the tripods okay so they increase the damage part of those abilities a lot okay and you can see why that price is so desirable and for someone that's a, a small spender like a dolphin or maybe they're a, a whale in the game with royal crystals or maybe even an rmt that hasn't been caught yet these prices are not that much in the scheme of things right but for a small player or a free-to-play player or a very very small spender like myself just spending on cosmetics this is a lot of money right Twenty thousand gold is a decent amount of money you know, that's more than you make from from legion raids for example you know um on a character so basically if we were to take the other ability which was full swing and we look at i think it was beast 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 eye at four we can see it's the only one of its kind on the market so it's got a niche corner that no one else is competing with and so that price can be set to the the seller's desire you know within reason of trying to sell it obviously if you put another zero on that you probably wouldn't sell it at the moment just because no one is gonna want to fork out that kind of money for a couple of tripods but as the date gets closer to release we know that the demand and the value is going to go up because people are not prepared and they're going to just need to get something as quick as possible and throw it in before the update okay so bear that in mind the quick quick and dirty run through mark tripods for both of your class uh, builds okay play the game chaos dungeon drops as you get them anything that pops up that's either level four that you haven't marked or anything level three and four that you have marked is worth some value so hold on to these put them in your vault don't make the mistake I made of selling something early just to try and make a little bit of gold because it's going to sell for a lot, lot more. Um, and as you get closer to the release date, when we know the date of the November patch release, you know that you can hold on to the minute before midnight and you can start trying to sell these items. Okay. Um, 
It's also worth noting the reason it's such a low risk is because these items aren't going to be wiped from the game when the update happens. They're simply just going to be um, not able to use the trick of the instant learning in the tripod inventory. People are still going to want to buy these items from the auction house just so they can try their chance at learning them with the, the doubled increased rates of success, which is what the update is going to do as well. So... It, they're also still going to be desirable then so there isn't the value wipe when the update happens which is why i think that this opportunity for gold is such a, such a low risk okay and another another option you could even have is say you have a 14 15 character which is the minimum for the relic ones to drop so i have here my ward answer that i'm just working on at the moment she's 14 15 i could take her i could go on to the auction house and i could search for the tripods that i've tracked for the the two the two builds okay and if I see ones that are worth a decent chunk of value that are actually very cheap, I can decide if I want to waste some Fions and the, the amount of gold in buying that, learning it, and then flipping it on the market for a higher profit as we get closer to the release, which again is definitely doable. You just need to accept that the Fion cost is involved as well. And that can turn a lot of people off. But don't forget, with that gold profit, you can then flip that back into the store for crystals and get more fions. So it's one of those things that feeds itself into um, a, a chain a chain reaction of a profit. So these are the tips I think are going to make a huge amount of money. I'm very, very confident that I can make at least six figures from the tripods I've stored. Some of them are like huge, huge, huge for the, uh, the Rage Hammer build. And I know a lot of these are going to be highly, highly great in the um the change in gravity hammer with the class ballot patch in november as well so these are all the drops i've had i haven't spent any money on these i've spent money on the few that i've locked here which is maybe half a dozen to a dozen but i've learned them myself because i needed them and i didn't want to wait for prices to increase and as the prices increase i can then resell them for a profit okay so just bear that in mind keep hold of everything that's that's good hold on for as long as you can and then dump it into the market, okay? It's essentially buying stocks at a low price, holding onto them, and as soon as the stock value is as high as you might think it's gonna be before the release, you dump it all, make gold, and I think, you know, something like the amount I've got right now is gonna make me somewhere between the low end of six digits to 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 middle to high end of six digits, you know, talking maybe, maybe even 500,000 gold, which is as much as I've ever had in this game. So, you know, it's the potential to really, really um, cash in and sort your account out for the long run you know have all this gold in excess for Praushaza so that you're you're not broke essentially on the release of the new raid you know you're ready you have the money you can get yourself a new bracelet you can um, hone up your new gear you can just basically be um, cash rich set for life so consider that a tip. It's up to you whether or not you act on it. Again, there are always risks in any opportunity for gold in this game. It's not a guarantee. I just think the risks are extremely low and um, there aren't that many downsides to doing this. You just need to be patient and understand how the tripod system works. Okay, so let me know in the comments down below if this is something you think you're going to do. Uh, maybe you've already started doing it or maybe you've got better options for making gold uh, with the updates that are coming. Let me know. Um, have I missed anything with this tripod um, update idea? Am I missing kind of some glaringly obvious ways that I could increase the value of these tripods? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and if you found this useful and you're definitely going to use it to make some gold, I'll show you guys how well I do with it in the November update. Uh, give me a like. Because, you know, I'm trying to get as much content to you guys as possible with really important information so you can make, some self, make yourself some really, really um, big bank uh, so you don't have to worry about keeping up with the whales or FOMO from missing out on content of the eye level, you know. We want to keep up. We don't want to have to to spend real money where we don't need to. Okay, so, yeah, give me a like. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new and you really enjoyed the content, please consider dropping me a subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. You know, I want to keep delivering this content. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys stick around and we can build a great community together, okay? And we can keep learning, improving. And, yeah, we'll just take all of it all the way to the moon. So, thank you very much, guys, and have a great day. Bye.